Just so everyone is clear here, the Bender supports a change in costume for The Flash. Grant Gustin works hard to pull that character off, and he deserves an outfit that makes him feel confident. Okay, so now that we've cleared the air, it's time to turn the page and look towards season 6 of the show. Here's to hoping these easter eggs are for real. Where we left off. Okay, time to bring back some harsh memories. For many fans of this hit Arrowverse show, season 5 was a mixed bag of emotional moments. Some parts hit their peak and stayed there. Unfortunately, some moments equally floundered. It was a topsy-turvy time for many viewers, so for the sake of brevity, let's remind ourselves where things ended right at the conclusion of the past season. Barry and Iris were dealing with the ramifications of meeting their daughter, Nora, a speedster from the future. Sure, it totally came at an inconvenient time. The team literally just finished off the thinker. That whole plotline drained the entire cast of heroes. Then a future speedster just dropped in and dumped her baggage at the front door. Seriously, it was a heavy way to start a roller coaster of a season. Sadly, such a start requires a slowdown in pacing. The show writers struggled to justify the pace of the season and made up for it with an occasional filler episode. Now, most audience members are more than okay with the filler episode tossed in here or there. The problem with season 5 is that these breaks in the main plot brought everything to a halt and make things feel unimportant. However, overall, the season brought out a lot of positive things to look forward to. Many viewers enjoyed the reappearance of Reverse Flash in the series. And on top of that, the shifting date has everyone talking at the moment. However, the biggest hint of the season came in a now heavily distributed screenshot from a middle episode this past season. You guessed it, we left off with a big hint at a possible fresh new suit. The Suits to Date It's only fitting that we talk about the Suits to Date before digging into this new theory and news spreading like wildfire. So let's begin simply. By our estimate, Barry's had five suits so far, one for each season basically. So yeah, we're not going to talk too much about the test suit, obviously it wasn't a heavy hitter, but it wasn't terrible looking. Season 2 and 3 are a blur. Ask a casual fan to compare the two suits and they'll be hard pressed to find the differences. Seriously, odds are they'll end up like Creed did when he became the boss during the interim period of The Office. Both suits look good though, and they're commendable, but we have a different favorite in mind. Yes, it's a basic opinion, but that season 4 outfit just looks great. Honestly, something about it just screams iconic superhero. There's a number of reasons Barry looks best in this costume, but we're not going to dwell on the past for too long. Which, yep, we get why that's ironic given the time travel nature of the show. But just pretend we didn't just say that. All of this builds us to the one that sent the internet crashing. We wanted to talk about it now, but it really needs its own entry at the end of the day. The Season 5 Suit Controversy I think Eminem said it best when he remarked that we all need a little bit of controversy. If fans had nothing to get upset about, then fandom wouldn't exist. Getting riled up about a suit shows that people invest a lot in this show. However, that's the key word, show. Occasionally, we need to separate the fiction from the real world reasoning. It's been said by more than one outlet that the weird cowl and fit for the new suit was done to give Grant more comfort. Regardless of what you think of this costume, that's a worthy excuse. He's the central figure of the show, so he needs to be comfortable in the character to help deliver a great performance. So let it happen. Still, we won't give everything a pass. The suit colors were bland on top of that misshapen cowl. It's a simplicity that wears the viewer thin. That failure to draw your attention is probably why you're watching this video now. You want answers and hope. Something needs to excite you about the new season because that suit and the story just weren't gripping enough. So, on to the good stuff. New suit, new season. Time to get into this leak. Well, the leak is a loose term here. It's really more of a recently discovered Easter egg. It can't be a full on leak if it's right in front of us, right? Don't worry though, other leaks are still to come in this video, trust us. Anyway, some keen observers noticed a small detail hidden in the background of a small scene. As Iris is looking around a storage room of sorts, some fans noticed a flash suit blending in with the background. Some smart watchers snapped a screenshot of the image. Now, the scene is spreading over every corner of the Arrowverse fandom. Their hope is that this suit in the background is actually the new Season 6 suit. Now, some reports out there are saying the cast and crew claim it's merely a half-finished backup suit from Season 4. Sure, that sounds plausible, but it feels like a nice excuse, right? It's just as likely it's a secret wink to the viewers to keep the intrigue up for the new season. Still, suppose they're telling the truth. Odds are the suit will still change. Cisco is no longer a part of the group, 
but that doesn't mean another designer can't come in to craft one. After all, someone needs to shove those flash shoots into a tiny ring. We know there are multiple versions, so the show has a chance to reinvent the wheel here. All we really need to do is get a suit with more personality and less clunky vibes. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Many of the entries from here on out will be theories and ideas surrounding news about the show. This entry is different. This entry is a confirmed part of the next season. The fall of 2019 is a defining moment for the Arrowverse. It appears we're getting a version of the Rebirth storyline. However, it's closely tied to the actual comic book event by the same name. The two seem to be one and the same for this event. Many of the confirmations center around the ending of Arrow, the show that started it all. Oliver Queen seems to be nearing his end as Green Arrow. The show is all but confirmed to be ending here in a short season, culminating in the crisis on infinite Earths. Spin-offs are super likely to happen, but expect any number of possibilities from that aspect. Honestly, outside of the exact event name, DC is playing this one close to the vest. Barry is center stage. A recent leak by a YouTuber named Pagey seems to provide explicit details to the way Barry Allen is involved in the upcoming storyline. If you're standing, you may want to sit down. Pagey claims that the first half of season 6 focuses in on the dual history of both Reverse Flash and the original timeline Flash. On top of this, Flash will learn that time isn't meant to happen. In every timeline, his mother's destined to die. It's not just a Reverse Flash phenomenon. That's the moment that ties his narrative back to the Rebirth story. Okay, that's the big leak in the basic sense. Hopefully, you see that Barry is the main character for this crisis. Yes, Oliver's life is getting a reboot and a shakeup, but so is Barry's life. A big moment is happening in this television show too. There's a reason IMDB lists the crisis as the ninth episode of the season. It's a jumping off point. R.I.P. Flash? The Flash vanishes. We read the headline at the beginning of the whole shebang. It's the words that haunt our dreams at night. Well, that's a little dramatic, but hey, someone out there is tossing and turning over it. Yeah, the big moment is going down, and many articles we see mention that Barry is leading a pack of demons through some kind of portal. It's believed that this is related to the crisis. The detail works in line with our expectations, and we have no reason to doubt it. So Flash is going to disappear. Say goodbye to the Scarlet Speedster. The real remnants of that fact is the actual effect the disappearance has on the city. The leak also states that the Speed Force will be the villain for the second half of the season. Barry won't stay missing in this timeline. He's trapped in the Speed Force, and the remainder of the season gives us the plot of him finding his way out, we think. Change at the helm. We can talk about all the theories we want, but something needs to be addressed too. There are changes being made at the top of the creative food chain. Sure, some of your favorite writers and directors will make their appearances as per usual. However, the name for the producers will change for this season. Todd Helbing is stepping away from his role as producer on the show for the first time since the pilot episode. Think about that. This man is one of the originators. A lot of our favorite episodes were crafted by a team he helped bring together. Any fan of the show owes him a thank you for the work he put in. However, new leadership is a welcome change for a show beginning to reshift around the roots Helbing helped create. The crisis is changing everything. So now the task of producing such an intense show falls on Eric Wallace. Wallace is an experienced, steady hand, ready to guide the ship in a new direction. Every fan should appreciate the work it took to get the show to this point. However, the changing in the guard is a sign that the studio is taking the Flash in a new direction. The best guess. So we know the show is going in a new direction. Leaks and Easter eggs seem to be pointing to a promising start. The details are coming into view. So it's time to give this thing a best guess plot summary. After all, you came here for some kind of answers, right? Now it's time to take those answers and form it into something concrete. Here it goes. The season will likely start off with the introduction of a new villain. PG and other theorists suggest that an alternate version of Reverse Flash is going to fit the bill. Some other ideas revolve around Godspeed or Black Flash featuring prominently in the early part of the story. Things escalate as the crisis on Infinite Earths ramps up to its big crossover moment. The entire team from every corner of the Arrowverse will work together to stop the threat. The end result will cause Flash to disappear and leave his city unprotected for a brief moment in the story. We think Flash will change and reorganize, but the audience needs to work towards that first. It makes a lot of sense that Barry will need to battle the Speed Force and all its ability in order to break free. The question isn't whether or not he survives the journey. The question is where he'll end up. Anytime Barry gets caught in the tricky rules of this godlike material, he always ends up back in a weird spot next season. 
It's the one part we don't have an answer to, sadly. So, we're just gonna have to wait. We know you're dying to give us your thoughts on this possible plot summary for Season 6. Did you find your own conclusion to the Crisis event? Let us know by commenting down below and subscribe to follow the Avenger for more updates as the event ramps up to its inevitable conclusion. We'll be right there with you waiting with awestruck silence. Until next time!